just on the pigeon house road and the MTL, uh, look, I'm aware this is before the courts and, and, and I'm aware of all of that. Uh, however, there is a new piece of information, if you want, in the public domain. And that's the report from the, the, the UCD uh, geographers. And I understand you don't have a statutory meeting, but can we agree that we will organise an informal meeting of councillors and the, the authors of the report to simply discuss the contents of their report and we see where that goes from, from, from here? I understand they are willing to do it. Um, it I, I, I mean, look, at the end of the day, I want to make progress in this. It's been going on for a long time. People are living in, you know, not very pleasant circumstances. And if we can find a solution to it, we should take every opportunity <laughs> Uh, to do so. So if we agree to have that informal meeting, we can see where it goes from there. And that's without, you know, being in conflict with legal situations. I'd just like to support uh, Councillor Lacey's motion in relation to uh, the new information. And I would suggest that all of the councillors would sign her as a joint motion. Uh, I think it's something that concerns us all. I mean, you know, when one community is impacted upon like this, it impacts on the whole city and it impacts on the whole reputation. I think there's an issue certainly that the courts will decide upon, but any other information that we can garnish and be, 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 be presented with, I think we should go ahead. We're not present in the case that's out there. Um, I think this issue is a very important issue, and I think that, the, that certainly the Dublin Port Company should have released this information, the, the information that they have to, to, the, to the residents. But I think the least we owe the residents down there is some measure of comfort that we're all pulling together to try and actually bring some measure of comfort and some measure of solidarity to the appalling situation down there. I mean, it's just appalling, not just for the people who are here and I want to welcome them, these are the residents from Pigeon House Road, but also for their children and, and the impact it has on, on children. Um, this report is a fairly strong report and deals with all the impacts uh, that noise can have on your health and on your well-being. Uh, and it does have an effect, and we need to acknowledge that situation. So I would like, as I say, the whole of this committee to support this motion, uh, and I'd like to second it. Thank you. This is a fundamental reassessment, as far as I'm concerned, and it, it makes a very convincing case for all the maladies that can, people can suffer as a result of uh, noise. And when we think then it, this all went back to a failure to... Uh, of enforcement back almost 10 years ago. I think uh, Dublin City Council, I know you're precluded from commenting, Manager, because of the court case, but uh, I think by adding this particular report to the mix, it makes us as councillors even more determined uh, to resolve this issue because uh, the residents obviously have, have, have suffered long enough and will continue to suffer until um, there is some resolution. Thanks. The issues that the people in the MTL down at Pigeon House Road have experienced is, is similar to what's happening here. Yet Dublin City Council have a peculiar way of monitoring their noise and the independence of a way of monitoring theirs. We need to make this a quiet, safer, sounder city for people to live in, for people to sleep in and for people to be safe in. We simply don't need this kind of noise. This is antisocial behaviour at its worst. Thank you very much.